and welcome to my review of the MSR Hubber NX Solo Backpacking Tent. This tent weighs about 1.3 kilograms. I have seen it advertised as 1.1 kilograms, but that is without any bags or tent pegs or all that paraphernalia. So everything all together, on mine, it's about 1.3 kilograms. It is definitely a one person tent. It has room for one person to sleep and it is quite narrow. However, the biggest benefit I think of this tent is that the pole runs along the tent rather than across the tent. And what this means in comparison to something like an Acto or a uh, Terra Nova um, laser competition or any kind of like tunnel tent is that you have an amazing amount of headroom. So I've spoken about this in my video which I did previously about this tent but the headroom is awesome and um, I've just spent five days camping in this tent and it, it really does headroom makes a big difference I personally think to the livability of a tent and how comfortable it is night after night on a long trip. Um, some other really great features of this tent it has a nice big porch area um, and that is great for storing kit obviously uh, and also for food preparation um, it's it's I would say wider than the sleeping area it is really actually quite big plus it has a two-way zip at the top uh, of the door which is always helpful it also and this is a very um, a little thing that is really great it has velcro as well as a zip on the um, Hubber NX version um, and what this means is if you undo the door zip the door does not fall on you so you have to sort of in a backpacking tent kind of lean forward and get your arm down and open a zip and quite often the, the door's wet and it immediately falls on you and it sticks to you and it's like oh, that's gross this one you undo the zip and it stays there because there are two velcro tabs one midway and one at the bottom just holding it in place um, so then once you've undone the zip you can reach back down and unfold the door without any of that sticky wet door business going on which is really nice um, another fantastic feature of this tent is that the door opens halfway sort of across and then it can roll right the way back um, which allows you to open up the whole front of the tent it's very very sociable if you're in a group with other people you can sit in your tent and look out and chat to everyone it's nice to look at the views um, you really only need the door shut if it's windy or rainy or cold and so if it's it's a reasonable day you just open the whole thing up and you've got loads of room and it's really really good um, other great features although the uh, tent is mostly mesh um, the inner tent is mostly mesh, so this really is a, a, a milder weather tent. I have used it in blow, um, in freezing conditions, <laughs> accidentally, uh, and it was so cold. Oh my God, it was freezing. So this is really a tent for the milder weather because it has lots of lovely ventilation under the uh, doors and at the back, and it's uh, three quarters mesh, um, but it has solid inner at the bottom and a nice um, bucket inner at the bottom you know what I mean um, which basically means that you're protected from drafts when you're lying down and I have found tents that have more mesh that where the mesh goes almost all the way to the floor can be very cold if there are gaps under the doorways um, for example, the Nemo, Nemo Meta 2P, the, the, the drafts come through underneath the door and if it's all mesh, it comes straight across you and that can make you shiver in the night and wake you up. This has just got a little bit of extra protection here, which is good. Um, one thing I really wish, so the front of the tent obviously has a big door. The back of the tent on the solo version does not have a door. Um, it just has a very small porch area that you can't access from inside the tent. Um, I do keep things there, I tend to put my trekking poles there when I'm camping. It just needs like a little zip or something just here 
and I know that would add weight but if I could just put my hand out and just grab things keep things that would be really useful uh, there are loops there's one here um, which is useful for hanging your watch from at night time I find so you can see what the time is and there's one at the other end as well I have actually got the loft the gear loft for this tent and it's kind of cool but it does weigh a bit and it's not that cool and it's not that useful and to be honest most of the time I leave it at home so probably a bit of a waste of money however the footprint, the official footprint, is not a waste of money in my opinion because if you have it, you can pitch the tent um, out of first, fly first when it's raining. Um, you can do it without the footprint, but it involves inverting, putting the pole together and then putting it together. It, just, it sounds horrible, but if you have the footprint, you can just peg the footprint out, pop the pole on it, and then pop the fly over, and then put the inner up. Pitching is uh, pitching this tent is very easy. I think there are these little pull ties on each of the edges that you just pull until the tent is tight, and then um, if things slacken off overnight because of rain or you know just because these things do, you can just tighten it up. Um, so it's very easy, very easy to take down. Uh, the only thing I would say is that the pole is huge because it's one pole and it's all in one massive big thing and make sure there's nobody standing anywhere near you when you're putting it up. Um, people ask if they can help and I'm like, no, please stand back, please stand back, because it's huge and it's got these ends that look like they're about to stab people in the face. So it's just an accident waiting to happen. It's a potential death trap, as they would say. I don't like the bag that this tent comes in. The bag that it comes in is this kind of like, I have it right here. It's this thing and it has, like you're supposed to put the tent in it and then you, I've even got the tags that I left the tags on it because this is how much I use it and then you clip it together and you tighten it all up and um, I think it's heavy and I don't think it's a particularly good idea oh, I, don't, I don't like it <laughs> so I use uh, I, I split everything up um, so I have the tent poles in the tent pole bag inside of my rucksack I have the inner in a dry bag inside my rucksack to keep it nice and dry and I have the footprint and the fly sheet in a um, it's an out kit just a, an out kit like lightweight bag in the other side of my rucksack so I just split it up the 2016 version of the MSR Hubbard NX does not come with mini groundhog stakes like the tent used to it now comes with MSR needle stakes which are better for stony ground. Um, oops, but um, I, I, I actually carry both as well as a few tie pins um, so that I've got something for all kinds of ground. So, and in summary, do I like this tent? Yes, for three season warmer weather backpacking, it is now my go-to solo tent. Thanks for watching and uh, take care and I will see you in the next one. So um, I might put it up on the screen if, when I'm editing. The power of iMovie editing. <laughs>